Hi everybody, Skeeter Harris here with Mac Village Productions and today we're going to talk about Parallels Desktop 7. With Parallels Desktop 7 for the Mac, the best in virtualization keeps getting better. So with that in mind, let's take a look at the top features within Parallels. So with Parallels Desktop 7, there are actually over 90 new features that got rolled into this release. I came up with what I felt was sort of a top 10, and we'll look at some of these, but quickly to review these, full Lion support. Uh, not only can we virtualize uh, Lion, but we can also now use Mission Control, Launchpad, full screen mode. Uh, there's a new Parallels Configuration Wizard, uh, which we'll look at in detail. Uh, the ability now to buy Windows 7 in a convenience store uh, where you can actually buy apps from within Parallels Desktop 7, which is pretty neat. Uh, Parallels Mobile has been significantly enhanced now with the ability to actually play Windows Sound through your uh, through the VM into your iPad or your iPhone, along with the ability to remotely control your Mac desktop environment, which uh, I'll cover in a later screencast. Automatic updates is now included, uh, made it a little bit seamless so that you don't have to deal with manual updates uh, both for Parallels tools and for uh, the desktop application. Uh, integration has been improved so that now your EyeSight or your FaceTime camera can actually be used simultaneously between both environments, um, which is neat, and the recycle bin in Windows can be pointed back to your trash can. 7.1 surround sound has been uh, added to the environments now and an improved 5.1. Uh, if you have Windows in, uh, an app that uh, won't, uh, you know, won't close or quit, uh, yeah, becomes unresponsive, you can actually force quit it now, uh, right from within the Apple menu, which is cool. Significant performance improvement also is included with Parallels Desktop 7. Uh, what uh, Parallels reports is 60% uh, faster than Desktop 6 for just operations and resuming windows and 45 percent faster for 3d graphics in some applications i can tell you that i certainly have seen uh improvements myself on this particular macintosh um and we'll talk about that at the end of the uh the review here and then last but not least you also now have the ability to use one gigabyte of video memory uh for a vm uh, that's pretty significant because now with either uh, game apps or high-end uh, video apps say an autocad maybe even a sony vegas being able to allocate a gigabyte of video memory assuming you actually have a video card that has that um, will uh, really pr improve performance on uh, those types of applications all right, so let's take a look at how uh, Parallels Desktop 7 uh, handles the virtual machines and integrates with, with uh, Lion. So what you've got here is you've got my list of virtual machines. You can see two of them are suspended, Lion and um, XP, based on those little, little half moons. Uh, Chrome isn't running, and then if we look at Home Premium, it's running. Now, to see my different spaces, uh, of course, using Mission Control, I can glide forward. I can see that I've got... Uh, here is uh, Lion resumed right now, or actually suspended right now. And if I go forward again on the trackpad, I can see that I've got a full screen uh, version of Windows 7 running. To exit out of this, just like in any uh, Lion application, you move your mouse to the top here of the screen, you get your menu pop up, you go over here to the diagonal blue arrows once that comes back up. And if I click on that, I'll go uh, out of uh, full screen mode into window mode. So it's going to resize it uh, properly for the, uh, the VM. And here I am up and running again with a couple apps going. Now, for those of you that are new to um, Parallels Desktop, uh, whether it's 6 or 7, but if you're new, uh, basically there are several different modes you can operate the virtual machines in, and this is configurable by virtual machine. Uh, if you go down to the uh, little toolbar down here at the bottom of the uh, VM, if we click on this, there's something called Enter Coherence Mode, Enter Full Screen Mode, which we saw, and Enter Mobility, uh, mod Modality, excuse me. Modality is just a miniature version, so you can actually have multiple VMs running if you were, say, managing a server farm uh, using VMs and you wanted to see all the screens running on one small screen. Um, or the VMs, I should say. In coherence mode, uh, this is pretty cool. What it does is it basically kills the Windows background or, or hides it, so to speak, so that now I've got just my Windows apps running and I can access them and use them, uh, use them that way, basically. And what's neat about this now is if I go back into Mission Control, what I can do is I can actually move these to different desktops um, so that uh, you know they're running just like a different uh, in a different environment, uh, like. Uh, like Lion does with uh, with Spaces and OS X. So um, pretty cool stuff here. All right, so that's a coherence mode to get out. You go back up to the start menu and we go down and say exit coherence and we're back then into the Windows 7 
uh, uh, pre home premium edition here uh, running in a window. So a couple other things I wanted to show you briefly. If we go down here to the configure the virtual machine, we talked about, remember, um, the recycle bin. Well, if I go to sharing and I click on configure, what I can now do is I can have it so that when I empty uh, the recycle bin or actually when I empty trash, uh, any contents of the recycle bin go out with it. So it, it merges that so we're not dealing with two different recycle bins to have to empty between the Windows environment and the, uh, the Mac environment. Also, um, another cool integration feature here is if we go up to force quit, say you have an, a Windows app that is not uh, responding, if we go force quit from within OS X, notice now that we can see some of our Windows apps running. So if I say click on executable for solitaire game and I click on force quit, watch what happens. Um, it it shuts it down. So that's, uh, that's really cool. Uh, clearly you can see here that uh, uh, Parallels is really taking the uh, integration and uh, it shows a real maturity in the product of uh, how they're just you know, continually refining and tweaking uh, Parallels Desktop 7 uh, in the uh, Windows and Mac environment. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, Project Wizard within uh, Parallels Desktop 7. Uh, how to add a new machine, a virtual machine, as you click on the plus. You get this really snazzy little dialog box that sort of walks you through things. And if I want to install Linux, I just click on either, uh, say in this case, uh, Fedora or uh, Buku, or I want to install Chrome. I click on this, I hit continue, and it will install and uh, download and install those for me. If I want to install Lion, uh, same kind of thing. Click on here, and it will actually automatically install a Lion configuration for me. I'm not going to do that. Um, new to here, uh, new to Parallels Desktop 7 is now the ability besides installing from an image, but if I don't have uh, Windows 7, I can click on the buy and what I'm going to get here momentarily is actually an environment here where I can actually go ahead and order uh, and purchase a download of uh, Windows 7 uh, right from here. So if I click on continue, uh, it's going to take me to this little, this little online store and um, I'll be able to uh, literally fill in my purchase information and uh, I'm off and running. Uh, so that's, uh, that's sort of pretty cool. The other thing that they did, which is neat, uh, is there's this thing called the uh, convenience store. And if I go up here to the, I gotta find it, the convenience store under file, convenience store. Uh, what we have now is we have this whole uh, series of applications grouped by function or category. And um, I can go in here and literally buy these as downloadable uh, images that I can then install into my virtual machine. Uh, and they also, uh, not only do they have uh, mostly PC software in here, but they also have Mac software. So, um, you know, really they're giving a sort of like an iTunes app store kind of, uh, kind of a feeling here. So this is, uh, this is really cool. Okay then, so that wraps up the overview for Parallels Desktop 7. You're probably wondering what my thoughts are after having been using it now for the last uh, almost week. Uh, I think that if you're a Lion user, uh, this is a no-brainer upgrade. Uh, at $49.95 uh, for an upgrade license or $79.95 for a new license, uh, why would you not uh, take the opportunity to upgrade this? Performance is... Uh, Notably improved, uh, compatibility is improved, integration with Windows is improved. Uh, I found no downside, and in configuring several VMs along with uh, migrating an XP VM over, uh, I saw no problems. Uh, just you know, really, just sheer happiness and uh, and goodness, uh, you know, from uh, a, a virtualization perspective. So, uh, you know, two thumbs up from uh, you know my perspective on uh, Parallels Desktop Seven.